right away, half you guys are going to freak out. Uh, but this section is totally not hard. Uh, and it, it's just, uh, it's exactly the same rules as the first section. It'll just, it'll just look a little bit different. So I'm just going to do examples. I'm going to show you how to do stuff. It's important to realize some things are constants, some things are variables. So first of all, there's, there's, there's a couple things that I want to address. Um, f of x equals 3m times x to the m plus 1. First thing I want to say is the m is just a placeholder for a constant. It is not a variable, which means you treat it like a constant. You treat it like it's like a 2. Okay? Even though I just said that, some people are thinking like, uh, uh, what, it, what does he mean? What does he mean? Well, constant. What is this? What? Well, you only use the power rule on variables. You don't use the power rule on constants. For example, don't write this down. If you have uh, f of x equals 3x squared, you oh uh, maybe like three uh, no that's maybe confusing to you, okay so yeah here this is a constant here this is a constant this is the variable when I use the power rule I only pay attention to the exponent of the variable I know this is a three to the one but I don't move the one down and then subtract three so it's like one times three to the zero I don't do that no way no way Jose don't call me Jose. Uh, so, I know that you're not supposed to do that. What I am supposed to do is just take this 3, uh, bring it down out in front, and you're going to multiply it by uh, the, or sorry, take the 2, multiply it by the 3, that would bring, give you 6, and then 2 minus 1 is just 1. So this is just 6x. Alright, let's look at this example. So that's that's what I mean. Uh, it's not a variable. It is a constant. Oh, also, the way you say this, uh, f double prime, f double prime, and it means the second derivative, which all that means is take the derivative once, see what you get, take the derivative again. That's all. So take the derivative, write it down, take the derivative again. That that's it. Don't, don't, yeah, that's it. So, let's work on this problem. Uh, they want the first derivative, f prime. Actually, they don't want the first derivative, but we need the first derivative to get the second derivative. So, the first derivative, uh, well, let me rewrite the problem. So, here's the, the regular function. It may help to put this in parentheses, because that those things are the exponent. That's the single exponent for x. Uh, so if I use the power rule, I'm going to move that down in front and multiply. So I have f prime of x equals m plus 1. I have it in parentheses. And then uh, I have the 3m, and then the x, and then I, well, I just take this and pause. And I subtract 1, right? That's the rule. Take the exponent, bring it down out in front, and then subtract 1 from that exponent. Okay, let me simplify a little bit. So this is the same thing as, uh, I like it this way better, 3m m plus 1 raised to the x, I mean times x, and then m plus 1 minus 1 is just regular m. I'm not taking the, I'm only, I'm treating the m as just a number. It's just a number. It doesn't matter. And then, so that's f prime, uh, I want f double prime. So, what is that? Take the derivative, write it down. Did that. Uh, take the derivative again. Okay, so f double prime of x equals, well, what do I do with all this? It's a constant. It doesn't matter. That's just some number. Like if m was 2, then this constant would be what? Uh, 6 times 2, th that constant would be 12. It's just some constant that I don't know. Um, so, what do I do? I take the exponent, bring it out in front, and then take away 1 from the exponent when I write it again. So I'll have uh, m times 3m times m plus 1, x to the m, and then minus 1. Okay? What do you... 
Stop screaming at me. So 3m squared m plus 1 x to the m minus 1. That, my friends, is the second derivative. It's very not difficult. Does it look crazy? But it's not that crazy. You know, it's, it's fine. Uh, that's example one. Okay, we do another example. Wait, before we move on, some people said to me, like, uh, M and the D, how, how you know M is not a, not a, not a variable? Um, well, we have a function of X. X is the thing that we're plugging in, so X is the only variable. That's, that's it. That's how you know. Okay? Uh, okay, Mr. D. Now you're looking at me. You're looking at the problem. You're peeing your pants a little bit, and you're like, "What the? What? What are you doing to me? What are you doing to me, man?" But then I look back at you and I say, well, what, what, "What did we just talk about? Uh, X is the only variable here. X is the only variable. This is well. That means this is just a number. This is this is just a number. That's just a number. And then this is, these are the coefficients. That's a coefficient. So." What do we do? What, what do we do? Well, first recall. All right, let's say this. If g of x equals 3, that is just the, the graph uh, uh, where we have a slope of 0. So g prime of x would be 0. Recall that. So if I take the derivative of a constant, that's just 0. Oh my goodness. That means, in this problem, this, when I take the derivative, that goes to zero. This goes to zero. This goes to zero. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's, 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 not, it's not difficult at all. Don't freak out. So, f prime of x equals, remember, you could distribute the derivative operator. That means the derivative of this plus the derivative of that plus the derivative of that. You know, we don't take this, we don't take the C and put it out front. That's because C is not a variable. It's a constant. Okay, so the first derivative, that goes to zero. That goes to zero. That goes to zero. And then I have, well, now I need to bring down the 3. So I have 3 A B X take away 1. That would be squared. <laughs> okay. Oh, my goodness, that, that was easy. That was pretty easy. And then the second derivative, well, I take down the 2. I just put it on front. Get my back. This would be 6abx to the 1. There, there you go. Who, why are you crying? Stop crying. I made this dinner so you enjoy it, so enjoy it. Stop crying. I'll give a quarter to anybody who knows what that's from without Googling it. How would I know you're going to Google it? You're right. I'm not going to make that deal.